Alright, for today's mundane hardware trick, I have this NES set up here with a Famicom keyboard, an NEO expansion board with a jumper wire attached, and a tape deck, and we are going to load a track in Mock Rider. And what we're just going to do right now is prove, you know, it's blank, you know, okay. You just hit reset. I'm just. I'm even gonna take the cartridge out, put it in. There's nothing in RAM at all. So we're gonna go to load, and I'm gonna press play on this tape. And as you can see here, the tape deck is doing its dealy. There's the game. Now loading. And this wasn't particularly hard to do, but there's not really a good reason to do it. It's just for fun. You can just uh, make tracks in your games and load them, save them. It doesn't really matter. You just rewind when you're done. Now, the problem that I have is that these tapes are 30 minutes long on each side. So, I mean, in this game, you can't tell it to load a certain track like you can in Famicom Basic, for instance. You can tell it to load a certain program, you just press play, and it'll keep going until it finds it. So, it's not really feasible to actually save, but you can if you want. I mean, unless you get tapes that are short, but they're really hard to find. 